Every single day in America, about 3,000 people are defaulting on a student loan. That's one every 28 seconds. And the consequences of default can be devastating. When a young person's financial life is falling apart, it can become easy to avoid the situation. But know that if you have a federal student loan, you have more options than you think. Federal student loans allow you to sign up for income-driven repayment. These are payment plans that cap your payment as a percentage of your income. If you're unemployed or haven't landed the job that you expected, you won't be expected to make your full student loan repayment. This will help you stay afloat and keeps your credit report looking good. Income-driven repayment plans often allow for forgiveness at the end of 20 or 25 years if you move from a federal loan to a private loan. You may be signing away your rights to income-driven repayment and loan forgiveness, so be careful before ever signing on the dotted line. I gotta be honest, I hate the term forgiveness. People who take out a student loan shouldn't feel like they've sinned, but there are options to get rid of the debt. A popular one is public service loan forgiveness. There's three important things to remember. First, you have to be in the right type of loan. Only federal direct loans count toward public service loan forgiveness. Two, you have to be in the right repayment plan. Only income-driven repayment plans and your standard repayment plan qualify. And three, you've gotta be in the right type of job. Not all nonprofit employment counts. So be sure to look at the fine print to make sure your job qualifies. If you can't benefit from an income-driven repayment plan, you can still lower the, the amount you pay every month. One way is a graduated repayment plan, which has payments that slowly grow over time. You'll pay more in interest over the life of the loan, but it will at least allow you to lower your payment in your first years of coming out of college. An extended repayment plan makes your payment plan grow, maybe from 10 years to 20 or 25 years. Your payment will be reduced, but again, you're gonna pay much more in interest over the life of the loan. Earlier this year, regulators sued Navient, which used to be called Sally May, for steering borrowers into forbearance. When people were calling or asking about their options, uh, the company allegedly hid the ball when it came to income-driven repayment plans or other options for borrowers. Borrowers should go to consumerfinance.gov. When you speak to your student loan servicer, you got to press them on the best options, not just the program that's best for their bottom line. Mm -hmm.